once you've cleaned your flow cell or for whatever reason you decide that you need to collect a new empty cell reference spectrum, you want to use Spectrum IR and a special macro to do this. So in your computer you launch the Spectrum IR utility. We're going to connect in this case to the upper FTIR. If your instrument has a single FTIR it may automatically connect and you do not have to select the instrument. Then we're going to go to process macros oil express empty cell. In here there's a brief description or instruction for the flow cell empty cell collection. Um, enter the flow cell serial number into the sample table, click background to move the sample shuttle to the background position and collect a background spectrum. Click scan to move the sample shuttle to the sample position and scan the empty cell spectrum. Continue. And once the utility launches, we have the ability here to enter the empty cell flow, the flow cell serial number. Okay, we have our flow cell serial number is R38327. We're going to insert a name for our empty cell reference spectrum. We're going to call it upper empty cell reference, abbreviate, and the date for easy recognition later. And we're going to run our background. We should hear the shuttle or if it's already in the rear position or in the background position, we won't hear the shuttle. Once it's finished collecting the background, we're going to click scan. First it will collect the uncorrected version of the empty cell reference spectrum. You can see noise in the spectrum or the fringing from the window reflection and the baseline will be slightly different than the corrected version. So once it's finished with the empty cell collection, you will see that the corrected version is now on, on screen. And you can see there's a slight baseline shift and smoothing has been applied. So we're going to click continue and it will tell you that our empty cell reference spectrum has passed. Now, one thing that I like to do is navigate to the location of the empty cell reference spectrum and or spectra and it's under pale data spectra oil express empty cell so we'll start there and you can see that there is a corrected folder here so we're going to change the name of the empty cell reference spectrum to insert uncorrected here and then we're going to leave or change the upper empty cell reference to say corrected. The reason being once these are applied in the Oil Express software that makes it very easy to understand whether or not you've applied the correct reference spectrum or the empty cell reference spectrum. They are named the same, they're just under different folders if you leave it as it is. So renaming them is always a good practice. So once you've completed that, you're going to close out spectrum and you're going to go to the Oil Express software You're going to select Setup, Instrument, Spectrometer, and underneath the empty cell reference spectrum, you're going to Browse, and you're going to point to, let me change this to Details, you're going to point to Pale Data, 
spectra, oil express empty cell, and the corrected folder. And we're going to use the upper corrected empty cell reference with today's date. Verify that we have the correct one here. And select apply and okay.